Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we have an exciting topic that will help supercharge your computer's performance. In this video, we'll be diving into the world of driver updates and showing you how to keep your system running smoothly. So, if you're tired of sluggish performance and want to optimize your hardware, you've come to the right place. Get ready to update your drivers with Drivers Clouds. Hello everyone, and today I'm going to tell you how to update your driver on Windows. To do this, I will use Drivers Cloud, and you can have the link of their website in the description. First, why would you want to update your um, drivers? Well, updating uh, your drivers improves their performance, reliability, and makes your hardware last longer. So, to update your drivers, I will use driverscloud.com. The website is in French for me, but everything works still the same. So, first of all, you will need to click Detection of a Download for Pilot. This button exactly. Then you will need to actually scroll down until you see Manual Installation. You will then click on uh, Installation uh, automatic insta insta uh, installation and it will down start the download of the first part of the driver you just need then to wait for it to open then for you right now there is nothing on the screen but it will ask you for permission so you click yes and then now I will put every the tutorial in English so uh, this button is for um, silent installation, it won't be translated even if you have everything in English, just don't check it, it's not, uh, we will not use it. So then you just need to wait a little bit for everything to download. Then just click install. And then you will have two things, first of all there is this um, button that is now here. Uh, this will uh, automatically open just this um, windows and we will now use this windows. Here you don't need anything, you just click on launch detection. Then it will automatically open a um, new uh, internet page. Everything is no more about that. So here you can see that we are in the driver section so if you scroll down you will actually have every of the driver but if you go to configuration you will actually have you you will actually have the entire um, description of your entire computer so here you can see the processor motherboard chipset memory and everything like that you can actually um, see exactly what you have and to obtain this um, this internet page you just need to launch the, uh, this uh, detection and it will automatically launch this you don't have to reinstall everything uh, when uh, you uh, want to see this page but let's go back to drivers and then there is a total list of every of the driver that you can have. So for me there is, uh, for the graphics card, there is a driver for the NVIDIA one, and there is one for the um, Intel Corporation, so this is uh, the integrated uh, GPU. There is one for the motherboard and the PCIe card. There may be, uh, there may have more uh, page for you to download, but the most important to um, download is the motherboard, uh, the graphics card, and the processor. So the download um, for every uh, driver in the same time is broken for some reason. So I will download only um, the graphics card for the example. I uh, I will now click on download this driver. Then scroll a bit down. Uh, if here you can actually see every um, driver that is in of course your one will be in um, like for me uh, here it is but 
here you just click on download this driver you will now have two options uh, download from several uh, cloud or manufacturer server i prefer to just click on several of the drivers cloud it's way easier you will now have an exe that will try to download you just click on this and it will now download So, when the download is finished, you will just now need to open it. It always takes a bit of time uh, for the NVIDIA drivers. Here it asks for permission, here you don't see anything but just click yes. Here just don't touch anything. Uh, oh, I launched it twice. Then you just need to wait a little bit for it to install the drivers. Also, uh, big um, drivers like uh, the motherboard, uh, CPU, and GPU are likely to ask for a reboot of the system, so don't uh, be afraid about that. And also, um, if you uh, update like NVIDIA drivers, uh, it will maybe take a bit more time for the first time to. Uh, turn on when it uh, when you actually uh, reboot the computer so don't panic it's normal here you just click on um, accept and continue for me it's in French but we do not care click on express we uh, accept if you want to add uh, special things but we don't and here you just need to wait Now uh, it's finished, you just click on close and you will actually have a GeForce experience. So this, so this update didn't ask for a reboot, so we just don't need to. I will not actually do as the Intel one because it's really similar, but you get the idea, it's always um, like that. And just like that, you have just updated your drivers. So leave a like and subscribe, please. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> and bye. And that's a wrap, folks. We hope you found this video on updating your drivers with Drivers Clouds informative and helpful. By keeping your drivers up to date, you're ensuring that your computer is running at its peak performance maximizing your gaming experience, and avoiding any compatibility issues. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy computing!